players for when they ran by white boys anyway. And I can speak about it, nigga, because when I played, I had to shut my mouth too. There's two ways you can go, nigga. You bite the apple and wear them motherfucking dresses like uh, Russell Westbrook or whatever the fuck his name is. I don't even want to say this nigga name no more. But this ain't this nigga first time in a dress. So I don't know why people so alarmed. This nigga been wearing dresses and weird ass shit. But see, like I told you, LBJ said, your leaders, they'll give them to you. And just because this nigga can jump high and play basketball, not nary nigga, not no Geechee nigga, not no nigga I ever was raised up with, going to be walking around the goddamn streets with a dress on and some motherfucking boots and get my respect and say he heterosexual. Now, if you gay, cool. My cousin gay. I don't give a fuck. I got gay girl, female cousins, male cousins. It, it don't matter about that. But when you say you are a heterosexual male, and that's what you do, nigga, fuck you. And that's my opinion, nigga. So if you wanted my opinion on that, I think these niggas is exposing exactly what I said. These bitch ass celebrities bite that motherfucking apple. And I never bit no apple. I just shut my mouth. That's how you gotta do it. You gotta shut your mouth or bite that apple. And there's plenty of niggas like me that's just not talking. Cause that weird ass shit they around is weird as fuck. What kind of nigga y'all, what hood y'all, these niggas supposed to be from? Nigga in high heel boots and a mini skirt. Nigga, what the fuck wrong with you? Man, please. These are your leaders. <laughs> this is an exciting day and appreciate everybody being here in person. Um, there's a few people we want to thank before we get into the formal introduction of Russell. Um, First, I wanted to thank uh, Kyle Kuzma, Montrez Harold, and KCP for their Laker legacies. Two of those players, of course, are champions with us, and they'll always be Lakers. So I want to thank them for their journey here. Um, wanted to thank uh, the Washington Wizards organization, Ted Leonsis, and their general manager, Tommy Shepard, uh, just for the spirit of collaboration and professionalism and, and handling a, a transaction that was seen as a win-win for both franchises. Um, and then I wanted to also thank uh, Thad Fouché, uh, Russell's agent, um, just for his um, role in all of this as well and his spirit of collaboration once we made the trade to onboard Russell with our team. Um, I think today is an incredibly exciting day for the Lakers organization. Um, to be sitting on the podium to introduce one of the best playmakers that's ever played in the game is um, something where we feel incredibly fortunate and blessed to do today. Um, we had some goals this offseason as we were um, transitioning into building our team, and two of the, the primary things we wanted to address were adding another playmaker to our roster and then adding shooting, and I think over the last couple weeks, I'm sure all of you have seen that we've been able to meet those goals with, um, um, you know, with, with a lot of confidence. And today is about the playmaker piece. I think in thinking about Russell Westbrook, there's two things that come to mind for me as a general manager. One is that he's one of the most liked and respected and beloved players in the league by, by players he's played with. Um, he's an incredible leader, and when you talk to teammates from the other storied franchises he's played for, to a man, the input you get is that he's one of the great teammates they've played with, and that speaks to his character and his leadership, and those are qualities that are incredibly important to our team. And then the second thing is, I think he is in an elite class of players in terms of his competitive nature. The, one of the core qualities as we build a roster is seeking out guys that have an ultra sense, a heightened sense of being competitive warriors on the court, players that played with the ultimate um, sort of grit and grind and tenacity. And Russell stands in an elite class in that category, and that's drawn us to him. And then I would say the last thing that I've really seen in the growth of his game is Early in our careers, I think all of us, when we're young, we see, certain, we see things a certain way. And a lot of his triple doubles early were done with force. But I think now his triple doubles are done with force and with thoughtfulness and how he 
uses the pieces and the players he plays with as teammates and makes the sum of its, the parts greater than um, each individual. And I think he's really learned um, how to think the game at a higher level. So those are some of the qualities that attracted us to this day. And we're proud to uh, introduce Russell Westbrook as a Laker and take your questions. So thank you. First of all, uh, Russell, welcome back. We were just talking earlier about when you were about 12 years old, you were watching the Laker parades and stuff like that. And even then you knew you wanted to be a Laker and how much this day means to you. The other part of the question is, in the past you've been used to being the focal point of the offense. Now you don't have to worry about that. And what adjustments will you make now that you're playing with people uh, like AD and LeBron? Oh, I mean, first, man, it's uh, surreal. I think it still hasn't kind of hit me yet that uh, being from L.A., growing up, not too far from here, being able to um, watch the parades, uh, try to go to a miss school to try to go to them, um, being a Laker fan and uh, being from L.A., but now everything coming full circle for me is uh, it's a blessing. You know, it's, it's uh, a lot of things I can't put into actual words just because, you know, some of these dreams don't come true for people like myself. Um, and I'm truly blessed and thankful uh, for this opportunity. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to get started. Um, and then secondly, um, and we've, uh, I've been blessed to be able to go into my 14th season. Um, and each year I try to find ways, uh, like Rob mentioned, to be able to uh, uplift and make my teammates better around me. Um, and AD and Brian are, are friends of mine first. Um, and me being their teammate, my job is to come in and uh, up uplift them. And they'll do the same with me, vice versa. Um, and as the season prolongs, uh, we will figure it out. There will be ups, there will be downs, and that's, that's normal. That's okay. Uh, but we will figure out uh, how to play the best way that we want to play to, to be able to win a championship. Oh, uh, Kyle Goon, Orange County Register. Um, Russ, I was just wondering what it was like kind of talking to LeBron and AD, sort of getting a comfort level that you guys could kind of work a chemistry and, and a fit on and off the court. What were those conversations like, and, and how did you get comfortable with the idea that you guys could all play together? Uh, I mean, honestly, you know, we've, you know, this stuff happened so quickly. <laughs> this happened so fast, uh, you know, in the last two weeks or so. Uh, but we've had brief conversations and talked about, obviously, what we need to do and how we need to do that. Um, and we'll address that as training camp and as the season comes along, and uh, we'll figure it out. Russ, um, when you went through this process, how draining was it, how tiring was it, and how happy was your family that you got back home to L.A.? Uh, I mean, it was, uh, you know, anytime a situation like this comes about um, or an opportunity presents itself, it's all, it can be stressful, it can be a lot of emotions, but ultimately um, the biggest thing for me is being in this league when you know teams that, that actually want you and, and actually want you to be a place, uh, to me that means more than anything else. And at that point, it's my job to be to make sure that I come and, um, and do uh, what I'm supposed to do, and that's to come and compete uh, and make sure that we have a chance to compete for a championship. And yes, my family was very, very happy. <laughs> Hey, Russ, welcome back to L.A. Uh, when you look at the way the league is kind of sh shaping up right now, where do you see this team stacking up with some of these other contenders, and how meaningful is it for you to be back in a situation where you can say at the start of the year that you know, the goal is to win a championship and that's potentially attainable with this group? Yeah, man, to be honest, um, my mindset is I never really worry about other, no other team, you know, to be honest. I uh, only can control what's in our locker room um, and how we're able to compete and go out and – I put our team up against anybody, and that's just kind of how my mindset is, um, and that's where I stand with that. Yeah, Russell, do you feel like you have anything to prove? Uh, no, <clears throat> I don't. Um, I've been blessed and thankful to be able to be in this league so long and and lucky to be able to, to play and, and, and be healthy. Um, when I got drafted uh, in the NBA, um, that was me proving people wrong, 
um, when I was able to go to college and get a degree. That was me proving people wrong. Not, not a degree. I wish I got a degree. But go to college, go to UCLA from the inner city. That was me proving people wrong. Um, just to make it out the hood was proving people wrong. Uh, I don't need to do that anymore. Um, I've been able to bless the people around me, my family, um, been able to impact people all across the world with this platform that's been given to me, and I'm uh, continue to do that. And obviously, we want to win the championship, but our ultimate goal is to make sure we use what we have to impact others around you. Hi, Russell. Mark Medina here. You guys said today. Congratulations. Good Thank to you. see you. How do you initially envision how you and LeBron will share ball handling and playmaking duties? Um, you know, as you know, LeBron is one of the best players to play this game. Um, and his, his ability to be able to kind of do everything on the floor um, allows me to be able to just figure it out. Um, I'm coming to a championship caliber team, and my job is to make sure that I'm able to make his game easy for him. Um, and I'll find ways to do that throughout the game um, as it pertains to ball handling and all that. It really doesn't matter. Um, there's many different ways you can impact the game without having the ball in your hands. Um, and I'm, I've been able to do that for many years, and um, I will figure it out. Hey, Russ, this is a, I know you grew up in LA watching the Lakers going to the parades and stuff. You also had a really close relationship with Kobe Bryant. What, what, you know, did that, did you have that in your head at all when, when this trade was coming together and in just these last couple of weeks since it's happened? Yeah, I mean, it hasn't left my head. Um, you know, it's uh, things that we've talked about, me and him, uh, you know, just the potential of me being able to be a